Hello, everyone. I'm Colin Tesla of Wrestling.com, joined by LW National Openweight Champion, Ricky Shane Page. Ricky, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for taking the time today. We are was recording this one day uh, away from MLW One Shot, Queens, New York. That will be on Fight TV on December 7th. You're going to have a match against uh, against Jimmy Lloyd for the title, obviously. Uh, what are your thoughts about, ahead of that match against the guy like Jimmy Lloyd, one of the top, probably one of the top guys on, on the independent scene right now? Yeah, I mean, I've known Jimmy since he was like 16, 17, I think. I met him. I met him at a Chikara show in the crowd one time. Uh, I've wrestled him a few times. I always love getting in there with him. He's crazy, and he's a really underrated wrestler. Like, a lot of people don't give Jimmy the credit he deserves. He's he's really good, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, I mean, what about Jimmy stands out to you kind of as, a, as an opponent? I mean, do you have that, that history with him? Is that something you kind of – is that a fact? That's probably a big factor in this match, right? Yeah, for sure. He's just, uh, he knows, like, every style, and he can do any style. He just chooses to do the more, like, risky style, which is just respectful. And it reminds me of myself. Uh, but he's very smart and calculated, which a lot of people wouldn't really think that about Jimmy, I think. Uh, but he's great, and he's he's a really, really good wrestler. While we're talking about Jay Lloyd here, uh, one of someone that's connected to him right now, Matt Cardona, has also been in LW recently, and Jimmy recently lost to Matt, so he has to come as personal broski. What do you think about seeing that happen? I mean, nobody wants to see that. No one fair wants enough. to hang out. No one wants to hang out with Cardona willingly. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we're going to see Matt Cardona face Alex Kane for the world title tomorrow. We're here talking about Ricky Shane Page defending the national opening title against uh, Jimmy Lloyd. That'll be MLW one shot. December 7th. So you beat Jacob Fatu for the title back at MLW Fury, Fury Road. Absolutely wild brawl, chaotic match. Uh, what it made you to, uh, to win the title from Jacob Fatu, probably one of the, the real staples of MLW so far in, in recent years. Yeah, it's, uh, it feels like a changing of the guard a little bit. Uh, you know, Fatu's been here forever, but some new blood. Uh, but being in the ring of Fatu is always the best. He's like uh, one of the best naturally gifted wrestlers I think I've ever seen. Uh, and uh, it always makes me up my level and it makes me rise to him. So it's it's always a good time. I mean, like you said, it's kind of this changing of the guard here. Now you're the national openweight champion. And I mean, we've seen and a number of impressive guys hold that title on MLW. What made you to win the title? We're just talking about the match, but like winning that title, being one of the new kind of faces, as you said, of the, the new blood, this new kind of era of the company. What does that mean to you? I mean, winning titles is always big for me. Um, I'm as a as a belt mark. As they say, uh, I've always loved wrestling titles and championship belts. I'm like a bit of a nerd about it. I I listen to, uh, you know, Conrad's little podcast where they talk about like the little jewel missing in the thing. Like, I just love that. So winning belts is always a big thing for me. And I always, I think I uh, respect it a bit more than other wrestlers. I always take pride in winning belts. So it's it's definitely cool to have that. And that, that title is beautiful, too. It's a very well-made title. And just the history behind it and stuff, it's 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 all around cool. I got, I don't know, it's just cool. It definitely sounds like you're a belt guy, so it's fair to say we were very happy to win the, the tag titles with Akira as well. Definitely having, having a better year in MLW. Yes, for sure. I'm, I mean, you know, I had to tag with Akira, but it is what it is. Uh, and that belt weighed about 40 pounds, so... I'm, I, I've I've rid myself of about you know two hundred and some pounds of extra baggage I don't need. Well, what, what's the what's the problem with the cure? We got some beef. I'm, I mean, look at him. He get it. He's just annoying. He's like an annoying little brother, you know. Fair enough. But your partnership did lead to that. To the, to the tag titles you've been in the calling with the cure at Raven. Uh, talking sure. about being in the calling, obviously Raven, huge name in the rest of the world. And I mean, even if you're taking some shots at Akira, you uh, again uh, you proved to be successful. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, Raven's the best. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers as a kid growing up. Um, absolutely love him. Uh, being able to work with him now is even. It's just a big, very, very big moment for me in my career. He's been super helpful, very um, given with knowledge and stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, winning tag belts is cool. It's and especially with Raven right there, it's even cooler. What would you say is probably the the, the biggest or the most helpful thing you've learned from Raven? Obviously, this guy's got a lot, a lot of experience, a lot of expertise. Um, he taught me the secret of the even flow DDT, yeah, which I will not reveal. But yeah, he he showed me how to do his DDT. So pretty cool. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. Now we're in, we're in December now. Obviously, it's time for reflection, time to look ahead of the new year. So we're going to do both of those here a little bit. As we've been talking about, you've been having a really successful year in MLW so far and elsewhere. But you were talking about MLW, won two titles, going to be defending one tomorrow. Uh, what do you say has probably been the biggest highlight of, of your year so far, uh, whether it's a favorite match or, you know, the, mo the moment of the, of the title win is something that really stands out to you? Um, I, I'd say probably having somewhat of a residency at the ECW arena now known as the 2300 arena uh, just so much history in that building um and just as a fan for me personally being able to wrestle there every month is like it's just so cool like it, it's it's kind of the home of MLW right now but like that's a historical building and 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 we're we're there every month so for me that's been a highlight to have that over cuz i've before that i had only wrestled there like two times maybe you know in the past 20 22 years so to be there every month is like a real big highlight for me. We're talking about Raven and you just dropped the, the 2300 arena. I think a lot of companies over the years have tried to be the, the ECW successor or try to lean on the, the ECW spirit. But I do see there is a lot of it in MLW, you know, extreme matches, a lot of the same attitude and same kind of uh, different combination of styles. It's like, a you know, you have a buffet of different styles. I mean, do you think there's some, some truth to that, that if, if even if it's not necessarily intentional there, there definitely are some similarities there oh for sure arena. yeah no for sure i mean you know you got to understand court's background as well that's kind of where he came from so of course he's influenced by that and 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 i think a lot of us on the roster are as well i definitely speak for myself in saying that ecw was a huge huge influence on me so i think it's not done it's not done to copy, but to pay homage, you know, and, and, and to let the world know that that style is um, marketable and uh, can be brought to the masses in a uh, palatable way for them. And we're here talking in December. You've had a very successful year up to this point. We're talking, you talked talk about learning from Raven, but you know, obviously you, you were a very well traveled wrestler. You wrestle all the time. It's been a very busy year. If you had to pick one, what would you say has been probably your favorite match of the year and why? Mm. Or one one or a couple, if you can. I'm trying time. to think. Yeah. I've had so many good ones. Um, I had a really good match in Japan earlier this year, or it might have been the beginning of last year. I can't remember. Uh, it was against Ue uh, Yuki Ueno. I'm so bad with the names. Uh, he's awesome. Um, that match was great all my ddt stuff was awesome um i was a real big fan of the weapons of mass destruction match with fatu uh anytime i get in the ring with fatu honestly um yeah I, I, honestly for me like everything right now is a bit of a blessing and uh they're all my favorite i've been having so much fun wrestling and um even though i've been doing it for so long and, and i'm a bit beat up uh i've been having the best time of my career this past year so I I, th I assume next year is going to be even better. You bring up Japan, just free association. MLW recently formed a strategic partnership with both CML, CMLL and New Japan, two of the leading promotions in the wrestling world. A uh, very big move for MLW to be able to kind of to lean on those companies and, and bring them together and have the different talent from both those companies come into MLW. Uh, I guess, what, what, what are your thoughts on having that ability to work with those companies and maybe anybody that stands out to you from New Japan or, or CMLL that you'd want to share the ring with? Um, I mean, to, you know, CMLL is what the oldest professional wrestling company in the world, and and New Japan is obviously legendary. I mean, that that's big. Those are big time moves that MLW just made there. You know, and honestly, anyone, um, you know, a long time ago, I I only have a, a few dream matches left that I want, but like right now, I just want to wrestle anyone and pass on knowledge and kind of uh usher in this new era so if there's any people like that at cmll and and new japan someone that people might not actually know too much about those are the kind of people i want to wrestle and and, and and work with right now you mentioned there are a couple of three matches left do you want to what do you mind sharing who that is or you keep, keep <laughs> that close to the vest um i think i mean i've said it a million times on uh on uh podcasts and things before but um and i recently got to finally be in the ring with him um but it was in a four-way uh but my my dream match is masato tanaka uh one-on-one -on -one. that's like the match he's like one of the guys that made me want to start wrestling i do the roaring elbow because of him uh 
yeah, he's he's just a, he's just my favorite. So that 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 is definitely the main one. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's been taking some bookies lately, so maybe that could be a thing in the new year, right? Go, 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 or again, new year, new goals, right? That's that's the thing we maybe look forward to. But yeah, speaking of go. which, New Year's gonna be starting. Always been time for goals. Uh, do you have any goals you're really looking to to cross off the list and in, in MLW and beyond in the new year? Um, growth, I think, for MLW, for myself, for wrestling in general. Um, I think the pandemic and a lot of other factors uh, really made wrestling take a few steps back and it was on this trajectory to just be insane. And I think we're get, finally getting back to that. So I'm just honestly just want to be around for the ride. Uh, I've got to do everything I've wanted in wrestling besides wrestling with Saito Tanaka. And, uh, and I even got to do that kind of. So uh, everything now is just, for me, is just like extra. It's bonus, you know? So I just want to grow more and, and um, I want to really, really, I'm really focused on like helping the future of wrestling right now. Like that's one of my main goals is just to, you know, with my work backstage at MLW and, 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 the things that I do on the indies, I'm just really trying to like give back and make sure that wrestling has a future. I uh, you, you just brought up your, your work backstage. What does that mean to you to be able to, to have that role to work with talent? You sounds like you're very passionate about kind of helping the future, but uh, what's that experience, I should say, been like in, in MLW so far? Is there anything you're looking to, I mean, you talk about growing, is there anything you want to kind of want to do differently or just? Um, no, I think I just want to learn the job more. I mean, this is new to me. I've only been doing it for almost, you know, I guess almost a year now. Uh, so this just want to learn more about that side of wrestling, the production backstage and producing agenting things, writing things like that, which I'm getting like a crash course with some of the best people in the business right now. Um, it's basically like going to college. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And, um, I think, I love pro wrestling and I've realized that I think a lot of wrestlers go through this too. They don't know what to do when they're done physically and they don't know how to move on with life. And I think that's because a lot of them either weren't helped out the right way when they were younger or didn't know how to help going forward. And I think that's the way wrestlers stay in the business and stay healthy and happy is just stay in the business somehow with some sort of other role. And, um, that's what I'm doing right now. And that's, it's so much fun. I'm very glad to hear that. And right now you, you still get to have the best of both worlds. Cause we were talking about, you're going to be defending the national open weight title against Jimmy Lloyd, MLW one shot. It's going to be December 7th on flight TV. One last shit sales pitch for, for your match in the show itself. Watch the fans be sure to tune in. I mean, every show that MLW has been putting on in the past few months has gotten bigger and better every time. And the production's on point. The wrestling's on point, the characters, the just the overall presentation of it. I really, really, really think people would enjoy watching it. And I really, really urge people to check out the show on YouTube and to definitely check out Fight and, and just see what we're doing and see how we're doing things differently, a little bit more exciting, and just check it out. There you have it. I'll be sure to tune in myself. Camera and definitely recommend everyone else is the same. Ricky, do you want to plug your socials or where people can find you? Nah, you know how to find me. Just Google me. There you go. I'm going to be one shot December, th December 7th on Fight TV. Ricky, I wish you the, very, the best of luck in your match and, just, and a happy new year, I guess, in advance. Thank you so much.